today we're going to be working on making our very own bot joy. We, we learned a little bit about the artist Gary Hirsch and his bot joy global art movement. Um, he designed this idea to spread joy and courage and love and gratitude throughout the world one bot at a time. And he would love if people would copy this idea. So we are going to be making our own little bots today. Um, we're going to begin by thinking about some basic shapes that we want to use to make the head, the body, the legs. Um, you want to be thinking about what type of a bot you want to make. We're going to be keeping these all positive bots, so we want to be thinking of positive traits. We thought of a few here at the bottom and we can brainstorm some more as a class, but we were thinking of love, joy, funny, musical, helpful, friendly, kind, brave, thankful, peaceful are all great positive emotions. Um, these are some of the symbols you could think about or you could create your own symbol. Here are a few of the bots that Gary Hirsch has made um, just to give you some ideas and you can see that they are they all are a little different. They use some basic shapes for their heads and their bodies. I do have a step-by-step -step that will help you just follow um, to get be started but really you can make your bot any way you like here are a couple of mine um, you're going to be using a little piece of white cardstock and you're going to begin by thinking about a head and you can do whichever head you like there are some ideas of heads on the back of the paper um, so you can choose whatever shape you like and we want these to fill our rectangle so i don't want to make a tiny little head like this I wouldn't have room for a face or anything, but I could make that into an eye or a nose on my bot. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a bigger head around it. It does not have to be perfect. These can be any shapes will work. You could think about making a neck for your bot or you could connect the body right to your head. It's up to you how you want to do it. You could add, let's see what it says to add a head and a body. Next, you wanna think about the symbol you want on the body of your robot. You could make any of the ones we talked about. There were a list of some symbols on here. You could think of your own symbol. I think maybe I'll make a peaceful bot. So I'm gonna make a peace sign in the center. There are other ways you could show peace. You can make whatever type of a symbol you would like. Next, you wanna add some arms and some legs. You could make little tiny arms or feet, you could make long wiggly arms and legs. You, maybe your bot has several, maybe this bot's gonna have wheels instead of arms and legs. That's fine, there's really no right or wrong way. And then maybe I'll have some arms come down like that and maybe I'll have one arm waving. Okay, next it says to add a face. You can add whatever kind of a face you like. I already have that little nose on there. I'm gonna make him happy kind of calm. Maybe I'll make his eyes sort of like this because he's peaceful. And then the last step is to add details and color. So there are, um, I did, you could add some antennas if you want. You could add some, and again, all different ways are fine. Maybe a little hair on this guy I can make. Maybe he has a um, little button panel, like a lot of robots have some buttons and different knobs and things. You could add hands. And then you can add some details, some patterns on the base of your robot. It's totally up to you. And the very last step is to add some color. And you can use some markers or some crayons or some colored pencils, whatever you like. Have a lot of fun with this. Don't forget your name and your class code on the back in pencil, please.